Welcome to part two of Twin Flames Merge and some information about the Earth energetics, how they're affecting us, and actually the great stuff that's coming as a result of it. First and foremost, everything is intended to bring you and your beloved counterpart together. You are not here to go through endless pain, have no end in sight to this, or to be without your love partner. You incarnated together, in most cases, to be with each other, regardless of what your counterpart might be telling you with their mouth. The reality is, is that your soul has made this decision, and you're two halves of the same soul, and we're going to get to some of the mechanics of it, the process, how it's affecting you, and we'll start now uh, with a continuation of the earth energetics. The earth en energetics, naturally, because we're in these physical bodies, have to be at the elemental level, which actually, a diagram here in this um, small diagram, with a cell, here's the nucleus of the cell. These are the mitochondria, which look like little, under a microscope, they would look like little beans inside your cell. Inside this mitochondria, we have stuffed in the rest of your DNA, which is your spiritual DNA, the rest of the helix codes, and you each have it, you and your twin, each have helix codes which are getting plugged in. Now what does this mean? This means that instead of two strand DNA, all of a sudden you've got several strands of DNA. You're having other chakras opening. You're feeling it. You're feeling it to the very core of your being. You're feeling aches, pains. You might feel sensations like broken bones. You can look at a list of ascension symptoms and find many of the things that correspond to you. What you won't find for that's different for some people versus twin flames, particularly a woman twin flames, are sensations such as feeling your wings develop or feeling like something's holding your foot or extreme foot pain. And you don't feel grounded and yet you have these pains in your feet. And what is that? What that is is... Um, you're actually having trouble grounding because you almost have one foot in one dimension and one foot in the other. What is this um, actually doing? Well, at a very cellular level, you are undergoing a transformation, an alchemical transformation that is enabling you to pretty much merge with your twin. Most of you have already experienced several mini-merges with your twin. The reason a lot of you haven't experienced everything is there's a sequence to this and things need to be in place in order for you to gain the full benefit of it. Does it mean it's never happening? No. Does it mean that there it seems to drag on? Yes, it does. And yet that is something that is occurring behind the scenes. So while you're being asked to sit tight, be patient, there are people, some of them are people like me, who have been transmuting or vacuuming things off. There are people who are prototypers who get parts of the body ready, the digestive system, the visioning system within, uh, called the third eye formerly, but it, it's actually expanded now. The breathing or respiratory system, because when we're in our other form, we still breathe, but we breathe love, which is in a, a vapor form uh, or airy form. Prana is what it's called in certain cultures, and yes, that's the valid name for it, but I prefer to call it love because that is actually what it is. Now, your body's made of the elements of this planet, so Right now, you've undergone changes in the elemental. The elemental is the physical body, but it's also your body enabled to reconnect with 
the um, elements that you eat, that you ingest, that you drink, and that you may um, inhale, such as aromatherapy. There's parts of you, the other parts of your body can now feel this. Why is aromatherapy so popular now? Why are essential oils? It's because they're actually effective now because you can feel them and you can get results. Before, it was almost like you couldn't make a dent in it. Yeah, you had to go to the surgeon. Now you can use other forms that are much gentler, less invasive, and you can actually intend your own healing without focusing on any particular modality. Twin flames actually encompass all modalities. We at one time had the ability to do everything, and as we lost our abilities, it got divided into a, a modality for this, a modality for that, a modality for that. So we're getting back to who we once were, but in a new improved way. And I'm also going to talk to you about the one thing that's on a lot of people's minds, love, and this does translate into, yes, the sexual. We are sacred sexual beings. We are here to make love. Making love is different than having third dimensional sex. I won't expand on that right now, but what I will say is these changes here at the earth level that you're experiencing are here to actually enable you to have much more pleasure, much deeper uh, abilities to be intimate, to feel each other, to connect, to have things not be quite so sensitive, but be sensitive in a way where it's intimate and pleasurable and actually can heal you. So for a lot of people, here's another uh, one of my diagrams. Oh gosh, let me get the angle here. All right, on this diagram, you can see that we actually have several, several chakras more that have opened up. There's people who have 30 chakras opened up on their body, and yet, what can they do with all of that? Well, they can sense better. They're actually expanding their senses. They can go to the mechanic and find out if they're being cheated on their car repairs or something like that because they can feel it. Our BS detectors are wired up, and if you're not using all your abilities and all your interactions, you're shortchanging yourself. You're doing a disservice to yourself. Because for now, we live here. This is where we live. And this is where we are making the changes. You're the change makers. And just because you may not know exactly what it is that you do do, you know, you may be an energy holder. You may be someone who holds feminine energy or masculine energy. Or you may be here to invent something great. You may be here to have a solution for, you know, certain types of pollution. You may be here with animal connections. Not everyone who is merging with their twin and feeling the passion of their heart is going out to talk about it on the Internet. It takes people with uh, a desire to want to talk about it publicly. For a lot of those people, say people with the animal connections, you will only see them maybe on Animal Planet, maybe in a magazine. You know, they, they are actually working in an environment that is loving and supporting them and they feel fulfilled. So this is part of, only part of what we're doing. I'll discuss in my next videos some of the things that are occurring on other levels that some of you may experience already and some of you are going to be experiencing here very shortly. If you're here in a body and your twin's here in a body, take heart that you can be together and keep focusing on that. Even though I'm giving you details here, don't worry about the intense emotions, uh, the amplified feelings and situations. They're here to crack our hearts open, but they're not here to break you. If you don't have energy, tell your guides. Tell all that is. Take some time off. But I encourage you, don't throw in the towel. Don't let go of the rope. 
Keep holding on to your twin. Hold that vision in front of you of what you want. And keep pulling it to you. Don't get distracted with things. Too many people get distracted and they say, well, you know, uh, this just isn't happening or it's not happening fast enough or I can't even tell anything happened. I did this and this and this and nothing happened. Nothing is ever lost. Nothing is ever lost. And the one who loves you will find you. And so keep calm. Remain calm at all times. That's been my mantra for the past month. And I hope that helps you. I will be back with more information about what we're doing and a promise to you that twins are continuing to merge and that there's more to come and there's something even grander while we dismantle the oath. Thank you for watching. Bye now.